Hey guys, welcome back to another video, and today guys, I'm going to be showing the new update stuff and some stuff that is coming but isn't in the next update. I'm excited to show you all this, so let's just get into the video, guys. So here is the first model, guys. So the first model here is a sniper. It is the KM50, and this is going to do 100 damage to the head and 70 to the body. As stated in the uh, meeting I did, I have a live stream archive of that. If you want to go to my channel, you can see the live stream. It's an archive of it, and yeah, it's, it should be in the playlist. Um, but if you can't find it, it should be in the playlist in my um, in my streams playlist, and you should find it there. And this sniper looks really slick, and it looks like it has a stand. I don't think it's gonna be. From what I've tested this in the test server. They don't put the stand doesn't actually you won't put it down you don't actually put it down so i don't know if they removed the stand or stuff something but from what it looks like the sniper is going to be awesome i from what it looks like from here it's only going to be a legendary sniper but i don't know because there aren't any other variants of it so that's our first weapon this is weapon one of two that are coming in the new update and here we go we go here and this is the tommy gun this tommy gun looks like it's going to have a ton of variants as you can see, this this variant doesn't have anything, a scope or any like little thing like the, um, what's it called? The thing you put stuff on, like put like uh, scopes on, it doesn't even have that in place. It has just a small like mini scope or whatever. So I assume this is the common one. The, these get more advanced as they go and then they get, they just get completely, this is just wood before and then it come, becomes like plastic or whatever. And then it gets even better where finally it's the best version of it, where it's this one, where it has every single thing on it, with a huge suppressor, and yeah. For, you start here and you don't even have a drum, like a drum barrel, like a normal um, Tommy gun, but here you actually have a, the drum, which looks sick. And I assume, I don't know, none of the guns have been able to be super zoomed in, so I don't uh, think this one's gonna be super zoomed in. But on the other hand, the sniper, you can actually zoom in, I've tested it before, and yeah, you can actually zoom in with the sniper. On to our next part. We have the bank. This is going to be the next, the, the one big robbery coming out, guys, in Dawn of Aurora. This is going to be the huge update for the biggest, the new, the new bank robbery that's awesome. It's all, it's also, it's also a hangout place, guys. So, like, you can hang out there and, like, chill with everyone, with your fan, friends, or whatever. And you can chill there and dance or whatever. And then there's going to probably be a DJ role from what I've heard. I've heard he's going to implement a DJ role or something that's going to be a game pass or something of that sort or just give it out to certain people. So we'll see how that goes. And here's another picture of the hive. This is the entrance into where you're going to be robbing it, guys. And yeah, this is going to look sick. Um, Here we have an actual trailer for it, boys. So uh, yeah, here we go. This is an awesome trailer. I like the, the moving actual animation, like, people, like, that are see-through. That looks sick. That looks awesome, guys. So, yeah. Here's another sneak peek um, of actually going in and robbing the Hive Heist. It's a sneak peek. See, so there's a door right here that you're going to need a hacking device for. Once you hack it, you're going to want to go in there. There's a security guard right there. As you, oh, whoops. As you can see, there's, there's a security guard right over here in this little and this is robbery that you're gonna have to defeat as he'll show here he goes in here and he has to shoot the guard the security guard he runs after him and actually punches him and does damage to his shield in this demonstration so it does do damage to your shield um if that's another question people have had um so yeah th they're really fast honestly and yeah you have to be really careful you want a shield for this mission is all i'm gonna say because he would be at 40 health if he didn't have a shield. And there, there's so many security guards. There's already been three that we've seen so far in this robbery. I don't know if there will be more or not. But it looks like there could be a ton more with this. Um, yeah, honestly, I just think it's a cool robbery. He, he's he's going to rob it. It's almost over. And there's some there's more security guards here. He doesn't show the actual robbery. But the whole point is, that's that's this is the part we just saw in the last image before. On to our next one, which is the the mini stores robbery. Like this is another store. It's like Brute Market or something like that. Um, correct me on that if I'm wrong in the comments. It's the, he talked about it during the meet the um assembly, the community assembly. Um, he showed a lot of he showed this picture. He showed the name of it and everything. And yeah, it's gonna be an awesome store. 
awesome mini store robbery. As he said in the assembly, he said you're gonna have to take your gun out and point it at the cash register, not the cash register, at the person who, at the like cashier who has all, who, who runs the store or who, no, who's working at the store. You're gonna have to point it at him and he will either, either choose to, to um, comply to you and give you the money or he's gonna try and fight back. So you're gonna have to fight him. So I assume you're gonna have to shoot him or whatever. He may have a weapon, we don't know. So, but yeah, that's gonna look sick. On to our next one, which is the, this store, I don't know if this is the McDonald's or not, but in the next scene we see this is the, he says it's the v VC Donald's interior, and this looks really good. I think this is the same store, but I cannot tell, you cannot tell from the way it looks, because this is completely, well yeah, actually you can tell. From this, see this thing, this red thing here, you can see that it's here too. So this is the interior, so this is the out here, exterior. And this is the interior of the VC Donalds, and it's gonna look so good. The city looks like it's even looking better now. Um, just a little bit more improvements. And yeah, this is the interior for the VC Donalds. On to our next one, which is one of my favorites, weapon skins. Weapon skins. Um, also, he changed the way the, the, the ammo looks from, um, I think he's gonna change the, the way the ammo actually looks in, like, the pictures for it because then you can actually see the difference because before it was all based on colors and they looked basically the same so you now you're gonna actually be able to separate them between each other guys so that'll be a really good improvement and honestly what, what you're gonna want to do to equip a weapon skin is click on it in your inventory which he clicked on three which was his g2a2 and you can actually click on different skins to apply here's another version of the skins if you did the July event of all the flags, you're going to be able to put the flags on the bog, which is going to look really good. And I can't wait for this to come out. If you didn't do the, the event, that's fine. You'll get a cool, you can put your orange skin on it. This is a skin already in the game. He's implementing it for weapons. And as you can see on this one, there's some skins on these guns. If you if you can't tell, but it's really light and faded, he, he put like skins on these guns, but he isn't showing them here. So I assume they're gonna, he's already like really good on like half of the guns because look look at all those they're like almost they already have skins on them. So I don't know what he's doing with those, but those definitely look like the Patriot the um what is it, July Fourth skin, and they really do look like that skin but this bog i don't know if he's i think he's gonna do this for all of them but the bog is the best thing to do it on for like looks because everyone loves the bog you know it's a really cool weapon and all um honestly now we're gonna actually go into vehicle skins vehicle skins are gonna look really really good so this is a vehicle skin um for the cyclone guys it's the same one that we had back here it's the bog skin but on the um it's it's not the box it's the the orange skin with the cyclone guys and it's gonna look really really good i think honestly this is gonna be a cool game changer and make a lot of things better uh and here we have another skin for the cars cars he's doing skins for cars guys so this is gonna look really cool i can't wait to put my fourth july 4th skin on a literal car this is gonna look so cool as you can see in this picture i don't think this car has been released yet but this car has a little front thing, so I don't know if this car is going to be a new car that's coming out. I think this is there's going to be new there's new cars that are coming out, like a cool truck. They're also going to be adding in the next update. Um, yeah, so I honestly think this is going to be a cool truck. Look at its like its little mo its little motor here. It looks really really good here. I like the gasoline little extra tank. It looks like right there. Uh, I like the like design of this car. It does look really cool. And then these little pitchforky things. Looks really, really clean, and yeah, this is another picture of, th no, this is just the, a picture of the new truck that's going to be going, and you can use this just raid places, you know, have people in the back of the truck, you know, it's going to look awesome, and yeah, I'm excited for this one, boys. Here's a new render of the actual Cyclone, it looks really, really good, this is a great render of the Cyclone, boys. Um, this is, was made by Billy Dodo, um, yeah, he's a really good model maker, and good like texture person he does a lot of textures and models for the game he's the main texture and model person for the game and this looks just looks so clean let's see another picture of it this is turned it looks really sleek and shiny and i really like it i wonder if this is going to be legendary or common i don't or legendary or for all of them 
I don't know if this will just be for legendaries or not, but we'll have to see, boys. On to my favorite, the cyberpunk car, which is called the Viper, boys. This is going to look so good. So, so good, guys. I can't wait to see this car in game. This is definitely going to be viable. This is definitely going to be one of the cars I buy. I don't know if it's going to be like 500k or 300k for legendary, 320k for legendary, which is normal for legendary. But I don't even know if they're going to have like common cars with this because it looks so good. We'll see though. It's only time we'll tell in the next seven, uh, actually in the next six days, guys. That's when the update comes out. So this is going to look so good, guys. I can't wait to see this car out. Here's some other, like, this is the picture of the back of the car. Th this texture was made by Billy Dodo, and the model was made by D Billy Dodo, and he's really good at models, as you can see here. Can't wait to see this. This looks really good. The back of it looks clean and sleek. The top looks awesome. I don't think we're going to see the top much, unless you're standing on top of it, but yeah, it looks really good. Here's, like, a side, uh, a cube kind of view. That wheel looks so shiny, dude. This is really good that he's doing all these models for it. I hope, I hope he does this to the rest of the cars and changes them to be more like, you know, theme fitting. Like, the city's really lit up and really, like, sleek, too. Like, I hope he makes it good, too. Like, makes it, like, match a little bit more, too. You know? Like, this car is awesome looking for that. And here's another version, picture of the car. As you can see, we have the normal picture here, but we also have this one right here. And this is a cool different view of the car and I really like it. This is a cool little, I don't know what this is going to be used for, but it looks really nice. The headlights is a nice touch and the reflection, I, I assume that's the reflection because that is really cool. I like the reflective on it. If that's going to actually be the reflective on it, but reflectiveness on it. But look at this engine looking thing, dude. This looks sick. Just look at that. That looks like an acid launcher, just like with bright light, bright white light. It's gonna look sick. Here's another um, small little texture to the road change. Texture change to the road. Um, he's gonna change. Uh, they change the roads to have a little bit more futuristic vibe instead of just the plain lines in them. That's what they're gonna add in this update. Here are some things I don't know about that they're gonna add though. And here are some cool little cosmetics for uh, Wastelander. This is a, this is, this I assume is for Wastelander. We don't know yet, but I assume it is because look it's it's rusted which the fear don't really have rusted things honestly i think these are all versions of it and it's gonna just have a plain one where you can put the skins on it like rusted so you could wear this i don't know if you'll you'll be able to wear this as fear or not like the different like these this armor or not but it will look really really cool as you can see here i'm excited for this one boys um, another thing here is also, look at this, look at this, this is so cool. These are some new melee weapons coming to Doha. I've always been using a pickaxe to pickaxe people down, you know? But I can't wait for these, this hook, and this little machete looking thing, and this little combat knife. Um, and then this, this, uh, this is like the new pickaxe, I assume, from the way it looks. I don't know if this is gonna be the new pickaxe. But from the way it looks, I think it is going to be the new pickaxe mesh. I don't know if this is coming in the next update or not. I tried messaging Dodo about this, Billy Dodo, and I haven't gotten a response yet. But if if he does say anything, I will put that in the description. So make sure to check the description. And yeah. So if we look over here, here's another thing coming. I talked to him about these dirt bikes. He said they're not coming because... They need to fix, like, the, um, the movement on the dirt bikes and how, like, they tip over so much. As you can see, in-game, when you play, they really tip over a lot. And that's a thing he's going to change. So, I really hope to see some cool things. And tell me, you guys, in the comments, what's your favorite thing about the new update? Obviously, my favorite thing is the Cyberpunk. Look at this car, dude. It's a beast, bro. It's a beast looking. It's so epic looking. Look at that, dude. That is my favorite car. Tell me what you guys' things... My, your favorite thing is in the description, in the comments below, and, uh, yeah, honestly, I'm excited to see, boys. I'm excited. I'm excited to see this all in game. My other favorite thing also is, like, the new weapon skins, dude. Those are gonna look so sick. Like, this, the skin here, the weapon skins, like, this, this weapon skin is gonna look sick. I can't wait for it. So, only, only, only time will tell, till... We get to see them in game, but I know the Viper's coming, so we can't. I can't wait for that one, boys. And yeah, hope you guys did enjoy the video, and I 
see you all in the next one. Bye guys! Go, 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 go